hello and welcome in this video we are going to solve problem number 29 of lead code that is divide 2 integer so we have given 2 integer in divide and, and divisor we have to divide the 2 integer without using multiplication division and mode operator and uh, the integer division should truncated towards 0 which means losing its fractional part for example if we have 8.345 it will be truncated to 8 and uh, same for if we have minus 2.735 it will be truncated to minus 2 Okay, and we have to return the quotients after dividing divide and by divisor. So we have a note to assume we are dealing with an environment that could only store integer within the 32 bit signed integer range that is minus 2 to the power 31 to min 2 to the power 31 minus 1. Okay, for this problem, if the quotient is strictly greater than 2 to the power 31 minus 1, then return 2 to the power 31 minus 1. And if the quotient is strictly lesser than minus 2 to the power 31, then we have to return minus 2 to the power 31. Okay, so we have given some example let's have a look at it so in first example we have divide and equal to 10 and divisor equal to 3 if we'll divide then we know that uh, our answer is going to be 3.333 and so on only we have to truncate it to integer part so that is going to be 3 and and for second 7 divided by minus 3 it will be minus 2.333 and we have to return the minus 2 only okay so this was the description how we can solve this without using the multiplication division and a mode operator so let's go to the whiteboard and just try to solve this problem first then we'll come back and write the code for same so i have already written down the first example from problem that is divide and equal to 10 and divisor equal to 3 so if we'll divide 10 with 3 then it is going to give three quotients and one divisor okay so we can write that to our divided is equal to 10 and quotients is 3 and divisor is 3 and remainder is 1 so this is going to satisfy this equation that is divide and equal to quotients into multi divider plus remainder okay so we don't have to take care of this remainder we only to we have to only take care of this quotients we have already given divide and divisor so we have to find out the quotients and return that so how we can do that so let's say we have given a divide and equal to 10 and divisor equal to 3 so what we can do that we can keep subtracting 3 from 10 until and unless we'll get a number which is going to be lesser than divisor so let's set up subtract 3 from 10 it is going to 7 again subtract 3 from 10, 7 it is going to give 4 now again subtract 3 from 4 it is going to give 1 now you can see that 1 is lesser than our divisor okay so we have to stop from here so how we can find out our answer so total step that it is going to take to get this number it is going to be our result so in this process we have only 1 2 and 3 steps so 3 is going to be our result okay now can we do it in lesser time like it is going to take too much of time we have to keep subtracting and uh, until unless we get a number so this is going to take big, too much of time okay so what we can do we can skip these steps using multiplication let's see how so we have 10 and divided is 3 so we know that it is going to give a result something like 7 so we can do one thing like we can multiply with 2 and again try to subtract so after subtracting it will give 4 again we can do subtract it subtract it and we can try with that so we have 12 we will subtract 12 from 10 it is going to give our number which is going to be negative so we have to stop from here only now we will be subtracting 6 and this is going to give 4 now we have to do same with 4 and 3 so 4 3 into 2 is going to 6 which is going to be greater than 4 so we have to do only subtract 3 which is going to 1 now we have to stop from here so how much did we take in first step we multiply with 2 so it is going to take two step and this is going to take one step so two plus one is going to take one that is three step okay so we can do it with this let's have a look at another example for better understanding let's say we have 50 and four so first we'll try to subtract it and we can see that four is lesser than 50 we can do multiply it with two now it is going to be eight we can again subtract it is going again we can say that eight is lesser than 50 again we can multiply we get 16 again we'll multiply we get 32 again we can multiply we get 64 which is greater than the divided okay so we'll take only till here now what we can do that we can subtract it from 32 now our divided is going to be updated with 18 and how much step do you take it take 2 into 2 into 2 that is total 8 step okay till now we have covered 8 step in only 3 step so we have decreased our time with a huge margin so now we will be doing the same process with 18 and 4 now we can subtract 4 from 18 and 
but we can see that 8 is lesser than 4 is lesser than 18 we can multiply with 2 it is going to be 8 again we can see that 8 is lesser than 18 we can multiply with 2 it is going to be 16 again 16 is lesser than 18 we can multiply with 2 this is going to be 32 so we will not going to take this we will take we will going to take till this okay so we will subtracting 16 from 18 now we have only two remains and it is going to take total 2 into 2 that is four step so now we can see that our div dividend is going to be lesser than our divisor we have to stop from here okay so how much step do you take so it take the total 8 plus 4 that is 12 step so we have only take um, we, we have covered this 12 step in only 1 2 3 and 4 5 step so we can return our result as 12 from here so okay so this was the process but how we can code this so i'm not going to take too much time in writing the pseudocode so let's just directly jump into the compiler and write the code from here and i'll try to explain it there okay so let's go so if we have remembered that note that i already written that uh, we have to take care of the integer something like if the our dividend is equal to integer dot mean value and divisor equals to minus one okay in that case what we have to do we have to return integer dot max value because it is going to give integer overflow and this is going to give a error in our code okay so we have to take care of this in separate so we are going to return integer dot max value in this case okay so this was one of the case and that we have to take care now we have to come up with our result so we will be assigning a variable result equal to 0 at the beginning and we first have to check if our we first will check our is our dividend and divisor are with the same sign or not so let's say if we will found out that dividend is greater than 0 and uh, equals to divisor is greater than 0 in this case what we will be doing we will be sign uh, we will be assigning a value of 1 and in other case if we will found out a divisor and dividend signed are different in that case we have to assign it with minus 1 and whenever we will be returning a result we will be doing return result into sign okay so this is the step that we have to take care now what we can do that we can convert our dividend by doing math.abs absolute value of dividend that is if it is minus then it is negative then it will be converted into positive and uh, so on okay so same will be done with divisor also okay so we have to keep subtracting until unless we'll found out that dividend minus divisor is going to be greater than equal to zero with that we had already seen and uh, if you have remembered that mm, we have to we have to like multiply our divisor with someone and uh, then we will be subtracting that from our dividend so for that we have to take we have to do a temp we have to take care that divisor somewhere so we have to assign that with divide uh, any temporary variable something like temp so we will be doing divisor assign divisor at temp okay so till now we are here and we will be assigning a count variable something like at one at beginning as we know that this is always going to be greater than equal to one okay inside this we will be doing that multiplication part so let's say if we'll find out that dividend minus temp so as we can't use the multiplication operator so we'll be doing temp left shift one okay in this case if it is greater than equal to zero then we'll be doing temp left shift equal to one multiply that is multiply by two and we will keep updating count that is count is going to be count multiplied by 
two. Okay, so now we have to add this count in our result. So our result is going to be updated from result plus equal to count. And we have to again reassign our divisor with the initial value. So we'll be doing divisor. Okay, so we have not done any with anything with divisor, so we don't have to update that. What we have to do, we have to subtract this temporary value with our dividend. So we'll be doing dividend minus equal to temp. Okay, so I think now we are done with our code. Let's try to run this. Okay, so given the two test cases has been passed, now try to submit this. Yeah, our solution has been accepted and it is fast. It is as fast as it is beating 80% of the solution. Okay, so if you are again submitting this, let's see what happens. Okay, now it's beating 100% of the solution and we have not done any changes in our code. Okay, so you can see that our solution is one of the best optimized approach and uh, I hope you must have learned something from this video. In that case, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share this video among your friends. Thank you.